Hello people, my name is Jatin Sharma. Welcome to Test Automation Academy. So in this particular video, I will be explaining the entire curriculum of the Estet Master Class. You're going to understand what exactly you're going to learn with me in the next five months. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of every topic that you're going to learn with me and what exactly you can expect out of this course. So let's get started. This course is basically created in such a way that you will be learning how to implement automation testing tools, processes and strategies on a live project. There are going to be 11 modules that you and I will be learning together which makes this as one of the most exhaustive course. So module 1 basically focuses on your Git module. In this particular module, we'll be learning about the Git source code management. We'll try to understand how Git works internally. What is your Git architecture? What are the Git basic commands? Your Git init, Git add, Git commit, Git log, Git status, okay? Your Git stash. Apart from that, we'll also try to understand your Git advanced commands like rebasing, merging, reset, revert. All those things we'll try to understand in this particular module. We'll also create a branching model so that you and I can work together in a distributed environment, making sure that we don't lose content of each other's while we are trying to create the entire automation framework. Finally, Git module is also going to be used to create the entire CI CD pipeline for your project. So a Git strategy would be required over there. This is basically the first module that we're going to learn. Once the module one is completed, we'll be moving towards the second part, which is going to be the project KT, where I'll be giving you the brief knowledge transfer about the application in which you have to bring automation. Okay, you have to automate the APIs, you need to bring the UIs and how exactly the application is going to work. This is like in a real world where you are, when you join a particular team, you are given a project KT of how the application works, the, the documentations, how the, uh, what exactly is the roadmap from bringing automation. All those things will be laying down for you guys so you can understand what needs to be done in the next five months. Module number two is going to focus on your API testing with the help of a tool called Postman. Over there, you're going to learn how to use Postman, how to use different variables in Postman, whether it is a global variable, environment variable, collection variable, data variable, your local variable, all these variables we're going to use and we are going to try to create an end-to-end black box testing um, of the APIs with the help of Postman over here. We'll try to integrate your Postman with Jenkins with the help of Newman library so that we have a continuous testing plan which is getting generated which we can execute whenever we want. So this is the time we'll start bringing a little bit automation into the project without even creating any automation framework just with the help of a tool we'll start bringing automation into the project once module 2 is completed we're going to move to the next module which is module number 3 which is the most important module in this particular course which is actually the spine of the course is the java module over here we're going to learn everything about java 8 the core java of course is going to be there we're also going to focus on the main new features that got added in java 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and even the latest version as of this particular video because this course the content keeps on getting updated on regular interval of time so whatever is going to be the new features that are getting added in the java will be added into the curriculum making sure that you are aware of the new features that have been added into the Java ecosystem, okay, which is definitely going to help you out become a solid Java programmer. One of the most important thing that you need to focus while learning on Java is object oriented programming as well as your design patterns. And that's what we will be spending our most of our time throughout the course, learning each and every design patterns and try to use it into our automation framework. Once Java is completed, things are going to get really serious now and we will start focusing on the rest assured library. This is the time that we'll start building our automation framework for the first time. We'll try to build the API automation framework with the help of rest assured and we'll try to understand the whole ecosystem of rest assured. How does it work? We'll try to understand how exactly the handcuffs libraries are going to work so on and so forth. It's going to be a fun ride and the most important thing is while using rest assured, you'll try to uh, understand the things that we were not able to do with the postman will now start to get automated with the help of your rest assured library. Once this is completed, we're going to move to the next module, which is going to be the data driven approach process, 
over the year we will try to learn how to read data from different sources like your excel your csv your database so on and so forth we'll try to make sure that we have the test data from different sources and we try to integrate it into our automation framework module number six and seven is going to focus on writing tests with the help of test ng and cucumber yes these are going to be the two things that we are going to try to integrate our test with we'll try to understand how exactly test ng and cucumber works what are the key differences between them technically they are used to solve two different problems but still we'll try to understand what is test ng what is cucumber when to use what and how it's going to add value into our automation framework now at module number eight we will start focusing on your selenium web driver we'll try to learn how exactly the ui automation of web applications are going to work the web application that you and i will be automating is going to be an angular web application and for your back end just in case i forgot to, to uh, tell you guys that is going to be your express web application now over here guys uh, for your selenium web driver the major focus is going to be on the difficult scenarios that you can usually face while working on your project so that you get a, a glimpse of how exactly your selenium web driver is going to help you out and what exactly selenium web driver can do for you and what it can't do for you so that you can plan your strategies for automation accordingly next we'll move on to the module number nine which is going to be the mobile automation and for that we will be automating an android application which i will be distributing the apk file to you guys and you will install it on your mobile phone and write the entire automation test for your mobile application moving on to the module number 10 we will start creating a fully functional ci cd pipeline in which the moment the developer raises a merge request all your tests are going to execute on his branch and only when if the test gets passed his code is going to be merged into the specific environment branches and this is going to be the first time you will see the glimpse of the automation and all the hard works that you have put together to create the entire automation strategy and your entire ci cd pipeline for the first time that all the topics that we have learned till now how they are coming together to create this one beautiful automation finally we are going to deploy the android application into the play store right with the help of a button click the moment the developer raises a merge request all the test passes if the test is getting passed this particular apk file will be created and will be deployed into the google play store okay so that the end user can directly get the update on their mobile phones interesting right this is what we are going to do for the next five months phew that's basically a lot for even for a sneak peek video but i really wanted you guys to know what exactly you're going to enroll for okay so that you really get a glimpse of all the things which are going to come into your way we have created specific sprint tasks for each module so that you experience how you're going to work in a live project in order to help you guys with the support there is a global community uh, platform that is present where you can interact with other students all the doubts can be solved directly by you by me or even by the peer students finally once the entire course is completed we make sure that every student gets their own customized resume as per the things that you have learned with us so that whenever you are applying for the job you actually get better job opportunities with that said guys that's it for what i wanted to cover in this piece of uh, video of the trailer if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me apart from that i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care bye bye i'll see you around